Foundation, and we're great friends with Mike Barnes as well. Um, Mike had asked if we'd be willing to come out, bring uh, Chris Jenkins, uh, one of the all-time greatest shots in NCAA history. Uh, so he asked if we could bring the guy out himself, and we did. Um, and anytime we can give a, you know, give a uh, helping hand, or we can lend a hand to our friends at the Healing Hearts Foundation, we're all on board for sure. Uh, what you? Uh, what's your upcoming prediction for the NFL season? Ooh, that's a tough one. I, I'm feeling good about the birds. I'm feeling pretty good. I think as long as the offensive line can adjust without Jason and uh, the defense can stay together, I'm thinking we can have a nice uh, playoff run. Uh, what's your prediction on tonight's game? Uh, I'm going to say Philadelphia Eagles 31, Green Bay Packers 17. Thank you. All right, thank you for coming out. Yeah. Appreciate it. Thank you. We are here with uh, former Villanova basketball star Chris Jenkins. So Chris, how are you doing today? I'm doing good, man. Thank you for having me. I appreciate it. I appreciate you taking the time. Um, ask, um, how did you find out about this event? Uh, they, they, they hit me up. They reached out to me and said that they were doing this and they sent me the location and I had to make sure that I was here. Um, everyone remembers your game winning shot in the championship. How did it feel winning the title with Villanova? I mean, it feels great. It feels great to accomplish something that very few people were able to do. And uh, to do it with a group of guys that, you know, you respect, you understand the grind. Um, the coaches who believe in you, who gave you the opportunity. Uh, it's just special uh, memories that we all have for a lifetime. How did, how did it feel playing, with, playing for Coach Jay Wright? It felt great playing for the Hall of Fame Coach Jay Wright. Um, he pushed us. He, he made sure that we were all logged in and dedicated to what we all had to do and to our craft. Um, so, you know, we miss him and uh, he, he's enjoying his retirement. <laughs> uh, what do you think about all the Philadelphia sports right now? Philly, Sixers, getting Paul George, <laughs> Eagles, uh, right now they're winning 14 to 12. Yeah, so the Eagles is, uh, I think we have a good chance this year to do something special. We just got to continue to to gel and mess. We got some new coordinators, new offensive teams, or things like that. Um, the Phillies, I feel like they can make a, make them a good run as well. And they've been playing well pretty much throughout the season, so it's about getting hot at the right time when it comes to baseball. And uh, when it comes to the Sixers, I could care less because all oh my guys are on the Sixers. What? Uh, how do you feel when Brunson and Dante Diavincello uh, uh, got next to the? Uh, to the second round of the final. Yeah, all those guys, Josh Hart, Jalen Bronson, Dante DiVincenzo, I mean, it, it's just so so fulfilling and, it, and it, I'm so happy to see them living out their dreams and playing in the NBA and making their mark. And, um, I expect them to have a great year this year as well, Adam McHale. Do you want to say anything to your friends out there? God bless y'all, man. We love y'all. We appreciate y'all. Go Cats. Fly, Eagles, fly. Here with former Eagle wide receiver Fred Barnett. So Fred, how's your day going? Through? It's going very well. You know, it, it, it seems like this fall day. You know, because I live in Bermuda and I don't get this, I don't get this coolness in the weather. <laughs> wow. But I love coming back. I'm back. You know, to watch the Eagles opener, and, it, and it's, it's a great day. Ho hopefully, they get a win. Yes, hopefully we win. Um, how how does it feel to hear about this event? Oh, it was great. I mean, the Barcast Foundation, is, they, they've been wonderful over the years. Uh, they've done great things in the community. And, and, you know, when Mike called me and said, hey, can you come out? You know, even though it was, I, I like staying in the city. Although it was in Newtown, I was like, hey, I'll, I'll, I'll check out. And uh, we're having a great time right now. Uh, how did it feel playing with Randall Cunningham back in the day? Uh, absolutely amazing. I mean, you know, Randall, of course, was established in the 
but if you want to get to the league. And it was great for me to just kind of blend in and kind of mesh in with what, what they already had established and be an intricate part of you know some of the successes that we had over the years. But, you know, I, I actually talk to Randall every once in a while. You know, he's, he's, he's very busy with his daughter, who's a, an Olympic high jumper. And uh, he's out in Vegas. But I talk to Randall maybe about, you know, every three or four months. But he, he's doing great. But it, it was a, a tremendous, it was a tremendous time to, uh, being with Randall and uh, being, being a part of the office, uh, an exciting office that, uh, that, he, that, he, that, that he ran. Uh, who was your favorite coach playing in the NFL? Oh, God. You know, no disrespect to any of the coaches that I had, but Buddy Ryan was like phenomenal. Although he was, wasn't a uh, offensive coach, he was a player's coach. And, you know, a player's coach is a coach that, you know, keeps the bar high for players. And I'm that type of player who, you know, once you raise the bar, I continue to try, I continue to move up. And he, he, he was phenomenal for me. Of course, he, he drafted me. And uh, there was not a lot of times that he was on the offensive field, but but uh, he, 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 was a, he was a great coach. How did, it feel, how did it feel like playing for Philadelphia fans every Sunday and Monday? Amazing. And I didn't have much to compare it to, or, you know, just no disrespect to the Dolphins fan. Uh, but I only played with two, two teams. That's Philadelphia and Miami Dolphins. And I'm sorry, Miami. I, I, I just can't compare the Dolphins fans with, with the Philly fans. The Philly fans are like at like a 9.95. The Dolphins fans are somewhere below that. <laughs> we'll keep it there. Um, what's your expectation for the upcoming NFL season? Well, you know, uh, it's, it's interesting because I want them to do well. You know, I kind of had this discussion on my podcast of having expectations or having the team try to live up to expectations of the fans. You know, I, I would just like them to do well. And doing well, you know, doing very well, of course, is, is just going and winning the Super Bowl. But uh, doing well is, you know, of course, having a winning season and everybody staying healthy. And uh, just moving, moving, you know, continuing to climb, and, and being being a championship team if this year is not the year. When Eagles won the Super Bowl in 2018, how did you feel? It was amazing. It was absolutely amazing because it's it's you know being a being a part of all the events that the team had when I come back uh, to Philadelphia and. To see them go out and become champions, it, it was just a, a phenomenal feeling. And to tell you the truth, it was, it, was, it was a very interesting feeling because it was a feeling that I had never felt before. It really felt like I was just on the team, you know. And they didn't give me a ring, though. Yeah. <laughs> I remember. They didn't, give me a ring, they didn't give me a ring, though. But I felt, but it, it, it was, it was a, a phenomenal feeling just to be a part of it. And I went to the parade. And it was, it was almost surreal. It was surreal. What do you want to say to all your fans out there that, su that supported you? Thank you. Uh, my, my, biggest, my biggest thing was not to let my fans down. You know, and, and in my opinion, my fans came first. And, and and everything else was after that because I wanted the people who really to, who really supported me to you know appreciate who I was on the field. So to my to all my fans, thank you, thank you for supporting me. You know it's been a hundred years since I've been retired right now. So uh, you know it, it's so interesting because it, just watching the game and seeing the guys play, it's just you know it kind of gets that adrenaline flowing and just kind of. You kind of have that desire to want to be out there, but you know, being the age that I am, I, I, I know I can't do it anymore. So, <laughs> thank you for thank you for your support. You want to Go give Eagles. out the Eagles king? Oh, fly Eagles, fly in the road to victory. Fly Eagles, fly, make a touchdown. One, two, three.
Hit them low, hit them high. Watch those eagles fly. Fly, eagles, fly. On the road to victory. E-A-G-L-E-S. Eagles. Yeah, here with Ben Harfman. So Ben, uh, can you talk about this event? Yeah, it's how you found out about this event. I'm friends with Mike Barnes. Mike Barnes is a great guy. Um, I really love his energy. Um, I do a lot of work for the autism community, so um, I do schools, companies, and businesses about inclusion and kindness. If you ever need me to come talk at your next school, event, company, or business, visit my website, benergy1.com. Uh, what, uh, what, what do you think about the Eagles' upcoming season? I think they're going to win the Super Bowl. We're going 17 and now! We're going to win the Super Bowl! Um, what do you think? And I say to all the fans out there supporting you. And, yeah. And can you tell them about your book? Yeah, so my mom wrote a book called Swinging from the Chandelier when I was three years old. I was sitting on the lights and my mom said, oh boy, if I read a book, that's the name of my title. And you can only get it on our website, energy1.com. And it's what it, literally the best book you've ever read. Are you coming up with more books or any, any no. more events? No. Um, I just have a couple of Friday night energy lights. So if you ever want me to come to your next high school football game, Bring the energy. Visit benergy1.com. Yeah. What's your prediction for tonight's game? We're gonna win. We're gonna win seven. We're gonna win um, thirty to uh, fourteen. Eighteen. Yep. You gonna say anything else? Can I say an Eagles chant? E A G L E S. Eagles. Go birds. Well, what a great day. We had a great Bar Can Foundation event. We said thank you to our supporters tonight with Fred Barnett, Chris Jenkins from Villanova. The Eagles are up right now. I think the score is 24-19. They're beating the Packers. But we'd like to say thank you to everybody who supports the Bar Can Foundation. Raul, you've been a part of our Healing Hearts family for a long time. So, and I know Michael and Ellen really, really love you. And we're so proud of the beautiful family that you and your beautiful wife have. So, go birds! Do you want to talk a little bit more about the foundation and sure. what it is and some upcoming events? So, Raul, we, we, um, we support local families that are in need and who are um, in need of financial assistance. So, social workers come to us and they say, Hey, Michael, Ellen, Mike. This family needs help with their bills. This, this family needs help with their rent. Their child is a CHOP or St. Christopher's Hospital. And usually it's one parent household. And we help with their bills and it's immediate financial assistance. So all the money tonight helps families when they need it most. Um, especially to, to families that are really struggling and going through a lot of adversity. So we're very honored. Our supporters make it happen. And you're one of them, and you guys, you're amazing, Raul. Uh, you're somebody that I've looked up to for a long time. Uh, what's your prediction for the upcoming season? So, if the Eagles play the, uh, the way they've been playing, I think they'll be very successful. Um, I think we can't turn the ball over, and I think they needed a new identity after Jason Kelsey. Once Jason Kelsey left, um, after this past season, the Eagles need a new identity, and they have to establish that, and it has to come in the form of their quarterback, Jalen Hurts. And he has to own it, and he has to do it. Will he? Well, time will tell. And that will ultimately be where the Eagles go in 2024, and hopefully into January and February of 2025. Go Birds! What do you want to say to all your supporters that the support? Foundation and so I'd just like to say thank you. On behalf of Michael and Alan Barkan, thank you for supporting the Barkan Family Healing Hearts Foundation. We're a family, we're a community, and you represent the best of what this country is all about. I think we're talking about election in November. Everybody thinks the people that we elect in November will make a difference in our lives, and I, I tend to to disagree. I think the most important people that make a difference in our community are right in front of us. And I'm so grateful to be a part of the givers. And the givers are who make our community very, very special and who make the biggest difference 
in the lives of all of us and our families. So I like to say thank you from the bottom of my heart on behalf of, behalf of the Barcan Foundation and on behalf of Michael and Alan. We love you. Thank you. Let's keep going. Let's keep doing it. And go birds.